Hello, my name is Jim Shalott. I'm the senior lawyer at Shalott Hatton Copel PC in Denver, Colorado. You can reach us on the web at www.shalottlaw.com. I'd like to talk to you for a few moments today about the giving of a deposition in a civil case. In a civil case, either side can notice depositions of the parties or of witnesses. A deposition is sworn out of court testimony, which then can be used either to discover what the facts are in the case or can be used to impeach your testimony in court. If you say, for instance, in your under oath testimony in deposition that the light was green, and then at trial you say the light was red, out comes the deposition of your former under oath testimony. And the jury can then be informed that you have got an inconsistent recollection and therefore should either not be believed or that you may be um, testifying falsely. It is important when preparing for a deposition that you familiarize yourself with all of the written and documentary evidence in the case. You should feel comfortable about testifying about the documents in the case and having a recollection of what you've previously stated in the case. Because good lawyers will ask you questions from the documents which have already been produced in the case. Your lawyer will discuss with you what are the particular strengths and weaknesses of your case and should anticipate what the questions will be that are asked. A lot of people ask how they should dress for a deposition. And we tell our clients you should dress comfortably, but remember that this is a solemn and important occasion, and you should dress in a way that is consistent with an important business meeting. Sometimes these depositions nowadays are video recorded. Sometimes they're taken remotely, and a jury can see the playback of your testimony. So if you come into your deposition and you are not prepared or you're not dressed for business, the jury may see that at a later occasion. What are some specific tips which we give our clients before their deposition? The single most important tip that I tell my clients is to just listen to the question put and only answer that question. Don't ramble on. Don't tell the lawyer what it is that he or she really meant to ask. Don't assume that the lawyer meant to ask a different question. Listen to the question and just answer that question. Remember also that when answering questions, to stick to the facts. Don't speculate. Don't guess. Use plain words. Speak plain English. And after you've answered the question, stop. Thank you for listening. This is Jim Shalott speaking of Shalott Hatton Coble PC.